6.1 The bathroom. A bath. A shower. A towel. A bed. The floor. A pillow. A lamp. A remote control. A cupboard. 6.2 A bar. A car park. A garden. A gift shop. A gym. A lift. Reception. A restaurant. A spa. A swimming pool. Toilets. 6.3 Hello. We have a reservation. Let's see. Yes, Mr and Mrs Robson. Welcome to the island. Your room's upstairs, number seven. Is there a lift? No, I'm sorry, there isn't. But I can help you with your cases. This is your room. It's very small. Yes, but there's a beautiful view. Uh, there are two beds. We wanted a double bed. I'm sorry. There aren't any rooms with a double bed. Where's the TV? There isn't one. There are some books over there. <laughs> books? This is the bathroom. There isn't a bath. No, there's a shower. It uses less water. Can I use the internet here? No, I'm sorry, you can't. Uh, are there any shops near here? No, madam, there aren't. Enjoy your stay. I don't like it. Well, it's not my fault. It's but terrible. My, my mobile phone doesn't work. What are we going to do? 6.4 There's a TV. There's a bath. There isn't a phone. There isn't a garden. There are two beds. There are some pictures. There aren't any towels. There aren't any pillows. Is there a car park? Yes, there is. Is there a gym? No, there isn't. Are there any lifts? Yes, there are. Are there any cupboards? No, there aren't. 6.5 We don't like the room and we don't like the hotel. We want to go back to Edinburgh. When's the next boat? I'm very sorry, sir. There's only one boat a day in the winter and it left five minutes ago. There isn't another boat until tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> 24 hours here. There isn't a TV. There aren't any shops. What can we do? 6.6 Chair Air Where there. Airport.
upstairs. Ear. Ear. Near. Here. Beer. Idea. 6.7. A city. A town. A village. An airport. A bank. A beach. A chemist's. A church. A cinema. A hospital. A museum. A park. A petrol station. A post office. A river. A road. The sea. A shop. A station. A supermarket. 6.8 Mr Soriano, what differences are there between Benidorm today and Benidorm in the 1950s? There are very big differences. For example, today there are 65,000 people who live in Benidorm. In the 1950s, there were only about 3,000 people. Wow, that's a big difference. Uh, what about tourists? Today, there are 4 million tourists a year. In the 1950s, there were only maybe 300 tourists, and they were Spanish. Now, tourists come from all over the world. Was there an airport near Benidorm in the 1950s? No, there wasn't an airport then. Today, there is a big international airport in Alicante, which is only 50 kilometers from Benidorm. How many hotels are there now? There are 128 hotels in the town. <laughs> That's a lot. And in the 1950s? In the 1950s, well, there were only... Three! <laughs> um, Benidorm is famous for its nightlife. How many bars are there? Oh, about 600. In the 1950s, I think there were maybe only 10 bars in the village. And there wasn't a supermarket, only some little shops. Today, there are 264 supermarkets and hundreds of shops. Thank you, Mr. Soriano. You're welcome. 6.9 There was a station. There was a road. There wasn't an airport. There wasn't a swimming pool. There were some hotels. There were ten bars. There weren't any big shops. There weren't any tall buildings. Was there a park? Yes, there was. Was there a shopping centre? No, there wasn't. Were there any hotels? Yes, there were. Were there any restaurants? No, there weren't. 6.10 Tree E 
dream, beach, please, eat, see, speak, egg, eh, weather, bread, breakfast, 6.11 My dream is to speak perfect English. Please eat your breakfast. The weather at the beach was terrible. 6.12 How is your weekend, Kelly? What did you do? We went to Blackpool. Blackpool? Why Blackpool? Well, somebody told us that Blackpool was like Benidorm in Spain. Well, maybe it is in the summer, but it certainly isn't in April. The weather was terrible, and a lot of places were closed. You know, the restaurants and cafes. There was nothing to do. Where did you stay? In a hotel? I wanted to stay in a good hotel, but Jeff wanted something typically English, so we stayed in a bed and breakfast. How was it? Well, the room was really small, and the breakfast was terrible. Terrible? English breakfasts are usually very good. Yes, and that's what we wanted. A typical English breakfast. You know, bacon and eggs, sausages. But there was only cereal, cold toast and tea. There wasn't any coffee. I tell you, the weekend was a complete disaster. 6.13 Call a friend. Get a letter. Give a present. Leave the cinema. Lose your keys. Send an email. Take an umbrella. Tell somebody a story. Turn on the light. Turn off the light. 6.14 Strangers on a Train Part 1 When the train stopped, I opened my eyes and looked out of the window. I saw her on the platform. A tall, blonde woman with dark blue eyes. The train left the station. As usual, the 6.20 was full. Excuse me, can I sit here? I opened my eyes again. It was the tall, blonde woman. Sure, I said. She sat down next to me. There was a nice smell. Chanel number no. five, I thought. I opened my book and started to read. I loved that book. Sorry, I said. I said, I loved that book. We chatted about books until the train arrived at Victoria Station. Coffee? She said. I looked at my watch. Okay, I said. Part 2 We sat at the station coffee bar, and we drank coffee and talked. Her name was Olivia. She told me that she worked in London. What do you do, I asked. I work in property. Flats and houses. What do you do? I work for Citibank. That's interesting, said Olivia. Do you live in London? Yes. I have a flat near the river. I told her the street. Wow. That's an expensive part of London. 
I looked at my watch. It's late. Time to go. I can take you, she said. I live near you. She smiled. Her eyes were very blue. Part 3 Her car was in the station car park. It was an Audi TT. Nice car, I said. She drove fast. Very fast. She stopped outside my flat. We said goodbye, and I gave her my phone number. Next morning, there was a text message from Olivia. I really want to see you again. Friday? On Friday morning, she called me. I have two tickets for Chicago tonight at the Cambridge Theatre. Can you get them from the box office at 7.15? We can meet in the theatre bar at 7.30. The show starts at 8. Part 4 I arrived at the theatre at 7 o'clock. I got the tickets and I waited in the bar. I read the evening paper. Olivia didn't come. I looked at my watch. It was 7.45. I looked at my phone. There was a text message. Sorry. In a meeting. See you in the theater. Leave my ticket at the box office. I left her ticket at the box office and found my seat. The show started, but Olivia didn't arrive. In the interval, I called her, but her phone was off. I sent her another text. Where are you? I was angry. I left the theater and went home. I opened the door of my flat and turned on the light. Six point fifteen. I opened the door of my flat and turned on the light. 6.15 Oh, no! My flat looked very different. There was no TV, no hi-fi. There weren't any pictures on the walls. I went into my bedroom. My laptop wasn't there. But there was a nice smell. <sighs> Chanel number five. Six point sixteen. See, saw, leave, left. Think. Thought. Drink. Drank. Tell. Told. Drive. Drove. Give. Gave. Read. Read. Send. Sent. 6.17 Is. Was. Are. Were. Begin. Began. Break. Broke. Buy. Bought. Can. Could. Come. Came. Do.
did. Drink. Drank. Drive. Drove. Eat. Et. Find. Found. Get. Got. Give. Gave. Go. Went. Have. Had. Hear. Heard. Know. Knew. Learn. Learnt. Leave. Left. Lose. Lost. Make. Made. Meet. Met. Pay. Paid. Read. Read. Say. Said. See. Saw. Send. Sent. Sit. Sat. Sleep. Slept. Speak. Spoke. Swim. Swam. Take. Took. Tell. Told. Think. Thought. Where. War. Write. Wrote. Six point eighteen. I'm your teacher. Do you want to speak to me? You're lost. Can I help you? He was at the party. I saw him. She never listens. Don't talk to her. It's a beautiful coat. I want it for Christmas. We aren't friends. They don't speak to us. They're good books. Why don't you read them? Six point nineteen. One. Did you see the film? Yes, I saw it yesterday. Two. Did you buy the books? Yes, I bought them yesterday. Three. Did you meet Anna? Yes, I met her yesterday. Four. Did John call you? Yes, he called me yesterday. Five. Did Sylvia tell you about the party? Yes, she told us yesterday. Six point twenty. Song. I'm a believer.
saw her face Now I'm a believer Not a trace But down in my mind I'm in love And I'm a believer I could leave her if I tried I thought love was more or less a given thing Seems the more I gave the less Trying. All you get is pain When I wanted sunshine, I got rain Then I saw her face Now I'm a believer Not a trace So her face Now I'm a believer Not a trace But out of my mind I'm in love I'm a believer I could leave her if I tried Then I saw her Six point twenty one. Listen to this. What do you think of it? I don't like it. It's awful. Who is it? Shakira. I really like her. She's great. Six point twenty two. Listen to this. What do you think of it? I don't like it. It's awful. Who is it? Shakira. I really like her. She's great. 6.23 what do you think of this music? I really like it. It's fantastic. It's great. I like it. It's OK. I don't like it. It's terrible. It's awful. 6.24 1 Three.
four. Six. It's really, it's really, Seven. Six point twenty five. What's the last film you saw? Indiana Jones. Six point twenty six. What's the last film you saw? Indiana Jones. What did you think of it? It was great. It was really exciting. Six point twenty seven. What's the last film you saw? I saw The Visitor. What did you think of it? I thought it was great. What's the last film you saw? The last film I saw was Wall-E. What did you think of it? I thought it was fantastic. What's the last film you saw? I went to see Mamma Mia. What did you think of it? I loved it. It was great. What's the last film you saw? Female agents. What did you think of it? It was okay. What's the last film you saw? I saw Wanted with uh, Angelina Jolie. What did you think of it? I thought it was terrible. Six point twenty-eight. Good afternoon, Holiday Homes Limited. Can I help you? Good afternoon. I saw an advertisement in the newspaper about a holiday house to rent. It's reference four seven nine five. Can you give me some more information, please? Yes, absolutely. What do you want to know? Where is it exactly? It's in a village called Langeon, about fifty kilometres from Bordeaux. Fifteen? Uh, no, fifty. Is there a beach near the house? Not very near. The village is in the mountains. It's about an hour from the beach by car. But there's a swimming pool in the garden. How many bedrooms are there? Three. Uh, four, three big ones and one very small bedroom. Ah oh, yes. How many bathrooms are there? There are two, one upstairs and one downstairs. Is it free in September? We want to go on holiday from the tenth to the twentieth of September. Yes, I 
think that's a possibility. Can you come to our office one day this week? Then I can show you more photos and we can talk about dates. Hmm. Is Thursday afternoon OK? Uh, just a moment. Yes, that's OK. At quarter past five? Yes, that's fine. Do you know our address? It's Cowley Road, isn't it? Yes, number 86. Uh, OK, see you on Thursday at quarter past five. Thank you very much. Goodbye.